Hello guys, in today's lesson, we will be concentrating on uh, cardiovascular conditions and how we can prevent them. And before we proceed to the preventive mechanism, it is very important to know the etiology and risk factors because it is through these etiologies and risk factors that we develop appropriate uh, preventive mechanism. And as we are aware, the majority of cardiovascular diseases are preventable with control of risk factors. Early detection and prompt management is very important in this case. There are many risk factors that contribute to cardiovascular diseases. Indeed, hypertension is the single most important risk factor for cardiovascular disease. A small proportion of the population are born with conditions that predispose them to cardiovascular diseases. Uh, we are talking about genetic conditions that usually affect the cardiovascular system in this case. While the majority who develop them do so because of combination of modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. So these actually factors uh, will be focused on today. Uh, they are grouped into two, modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable risk factors. What's the difference between the two? Very simple, as the name suggests, modifiable risk factors means we can modify them, we can prevent them. In other words, we have control over them. But non-modifiable risk factors, we don't have con control over them, we can't control them. And we will see some examples. Let's go to the uh, modifiable risk factors. Examples include tobacco use and exposure to tobacco smoke. Here, we can do some modifications. If this one can predispose individual to cardiovascular condition, then we can advise that patient to stop. So that means it is modifiable risk factors. Other examples of modifiable risk factors include unhealthy diet, uh, overweight or obesity, physical inactivity, like it means the person doesn't do exercises, right? We have harmful use of alcohol. Alcohol consumption is another risk factor for predisposing individual to cardiovascular diseases and hypertension as we have mentioned above, diabetes and hyperlipidemia. Infections, examples of infection that can predispose individual to cardiovascular conditions include what? Traumatic fever, traumatic head disease, HIV, etc. So these are modifiable risk factors in which our preventive mechanism can be directed towards them. We have also on the other side non-modifiable risk factors that we cannot prevent them. For example, sex. Whether a person uh, is uh, male or female, we don't have control over them. All right, So we can't change them. If a person is male, that is it, you are male. We can't change it. If you are female, that is it, we can change it. So uh, sex is one of the non-modifiable risk factors. Age, for example, as the person progresses to an older age, the risk for cardiovascular conditions increases. That's the rule, all right? So age, we don't have control over it. Race, that means that people from a specific race have uh, uh, some predisposing factors to cardiovascular conditions, that's what we mean, and family history of cardiovascular diseases. So many of the risk factors that we have discussed above lead to what's called atherosclerosis. And what's atherosclerosis? It is the narrowing and thickening of arteries. Simple as that. Atherosclerosis simply means narrowing and thickening of arteries. And they develop over many years without causing symptoms. The narrowing and the thickening of arteries is due to deposition of fatty materials, cholesterol and other substance into the walls of vessels, which in turn may reduce blood flow to end organs such as what? The heart, the brain, the kidney and limbs, leading to ischemia or maybe damage, very extensive damage to those vital organs. The figure below here demonstrates a proposed causal pathway for atherosclerotic conditions. This is actually the pathophysiology of uh, atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Uh, if you can see here, down we have generic predispositions where we where the causative agents have genetic basis and we have social cultural factors all these lead to behavioral changes uh, which can be in a form of physical ac uh, activities uh, nutrition smoking and alcohol and when that happens we will be having physiological changes like obesity dyslipidemia hyperglycemia 
hypertension. All these factors combine, whether we are talking about the physiological changes or the behavioral changes, all of them lead to endothelial dysfunction. And you know how the endothelium is very important for blood vessels. And do you know where the endothelium is first and foremost? This is the inner mass. The endothelium is the innermost uh, uh, vessel layer, which actually, if there is damage to it, there is uh, exposure of the thrombogenic substances that actually promotes thrombosis. So um, all these factors combine, you know, lead to damage to the endothelium of blood vessels, which actually promotes endothelial dysfunction. And hence, the end, we have cardiovascular disease. As far as the prevention of uh, cardiovascular disease is concerned, most cardiovascular diseases are preventable, as we have said earlier, through the reduction of the behavioral risk factors. The factors that we can control are the modifiable risk factors like the tobacco use, unhealthy, unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, and alcohol consumption, as we have mentioned earlier above. But the non-modifiable risk factors, we don't have control over them, so there is no actually preventive mechanism you know, directed towards it. So usually the uh, basis for prevention of cardiovascular condition is actually uh, developing strategies that target uh, a particular risk factors from the uh, modifiable risk factors. Uh, actually, this was a summary of um, cardiovascular diseases. In many videos to come, we will be actually discussing uh, particular isolated conditions like hypertension, ischemic heart disease, etc. So this was just the introduction to cardiovascular diseases and the etiologist causes and how we can prevent. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, thanks for watching and God